Hey guys, it's Little Creature Care here, and today I'm going to be talking about some pros and cons that there are about owning hermit crabs. So, let's get started. I thought you could just sit back and just watch my hermit crabs, you know, just crawl around the cage. I mean, they're not really doing much right now, they're kind of just eating. But anyway, let's get started with the cons, shall we? So, I just have it on a piece of paper, so if you hear paper or whatever in the background, that's that. First con would be, they are not a very hands-on pet. So, you can't really hold them too, too much without them getting very stressed out. If you have little kids or anything like that, um, if they hold them, they can be prone to dropping them because they are small. And oftentimes, kids will get frightened about getting pinched and things like that. Another con is they do require research and correct care. For example, they need salt water, fresh water, food, the correct diet, by that, like food. Um, they need correct heat and they need the correct humidity and that can kind of get confusing sometimes. So that would be considered a con. Another con, if you think of it this way, I mean, it can also be a pro if you want, but some people think of it as a con, is that you need to buy multiple hermit crabs. Despite their name, hermit crabs, they are actually very social. Um, like I think I said in another video, they do need other hermit crabs to be happy. So you need to buy more than one, preferably three to four the minimum, but you need at least two. The next con will be they are very, very messy. So, um, the most common thing that you will find, like with the mess and stuff, is the substrate. I know my substrate gets absolutely everywhere. When I take out the food and water dishes, the substrate just kind of leaves tracks and it, I mean, it gets annoying, but you kind of just get used to it. Uh, there's not really any way you can avoid it. I mean, if you're super careful, but it's always gonna end up on the floor. It's always gonna end up on the floor. Um, another con, and this is if you have like the basic setup. Now, if you have like expensive tools and stuff to do all these things for you, then you don't have to worry about it, but they need to be cared for every day. For example, like spraying the tank. So you need to spray the tank every single day to keep the humidity up. Now, obviously, if you have like fancy equipment that does it for you, then you don't need to worry about that, but you do need to spray the tank every day and clean out fresh food if you put fresh food in it. So the last con would be they are not the best first pet for a child. Now, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with owning hermit crabs. Um, oftentimes, people overlook that and say, oh, good pet, but it's not. You need to do proper research, you need to have the proper care or else they will die quickly and you'll be upset, I guess. If you really cared for them, then you will be upset. So, <laughs> before I, you know, make you hate owning hermit crabs, I'm gonna talk about some of the pros. So the first pro, is they are cool to watch and they are cool to look at and there are a lot of learning uh, opportunities with owning hermit crabs. If you have, or babysit or whatever, small children, um, they are really cool to look at. And I know sometimes they just sit there and watch them crawl around and eat the food and climb on things and there are a lot of learning opportunities with owning these animals. So the second pro would be the environment setup is not expensive, as expensive as you would think. Really, the most expensive thing, like I said before, was, is the tank and the heat and humidity. But in reality, you don't need to replace that that often, obviously, if you break the tank or if you break the heat and humidity stuff. Um, it you do have to buy that again, but everything else is generally not that expensive. A lot of things you can make at your, your own, make your own, like, you know, all that stuff. And, yeah. The third pro would be they do not take up that much space. I have a 20 gallon tank and it is just on a little bookshelf 
which also holds all my books, so it's like a two-in-one. I have a bookshelf and I have my hermograms and it doesn't take up any space. So that's good. And then all the storage that I have it just goes in little nooks and crannies around the cage. Um, that is the space that isn't useful that I haven't used anything for. So yeah. Another pro would be you get to check on them every day. Now this kind of went along with the con that they need to be cared for every day. So the pro for that would be you get to check up on them. Like you get to see what they did, you get to see like all their little footprints or whatever and see all the food they eat. I don't know if you find that fascinating, that could be a pro for you. I know I kind of like checking up on what they're doing. As you can see, they are enjoying food that I have given them. I guess I'll give you a little close-up if you want. I know it was a little blurry before. So yeah, that would be a pro. Okay, so the last pro that I have would be with proper care from adults or from responsible children, hermit crabs can be very rewarding pets for children. They can watch them change shells, learn about what they eat, you know, all that stuff. So that's my video. Um, I hope this helped you out in any way. Maybe it didn't, maybe it did. Um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I have nothing else to say. Bye.